0880 Daddy Vincent to the chat. We're talking smart meters. You might have something to add. Feel free to come to the fray. The number is 0800 80 1080. Ian, good evening. Yes, good evening, Marcus. I found quite interesting the various opinions coming from various uh, people speaking to you uh, within the industry. Everyone has their area of expertise, and outside that, um, things tend to be a wee bit grey. From my own experience in the industry, there is still such a thing as a line charge. Um, the lines companies who own the, the power lines that come out to your house, you have to get that money from somewhere like the Orions and uh, Christchurch and um, Alpine Energy and Timaru. They provide the lines, but you have your energy retailers that provide the, the metering and you pay your power bill to. So within that power bill account, you will be paying a portion of that will be a line charge to cover the cost of getting the power delivered to your property. Yeah, OK. Yeah. But um, for tariffs, there were several comments about different tariffs. You can have like a, a continuous a 24 hour where you have power available all the time and you pay the appropriate price for that. But you can have other rates for water heating where you might get power for... Some places might have 50 now or 60 now or 80 now. You can get an eight-hour rating. There's, from what I understand, there are quite a number of different rates mixed around the various energy companies around New Zealand, and there is a, a desire to try and rationalise that so that instead of having dozens of them, we've only got a few different rates. Uh, so, 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 Anna, what you're saying is if, if you get a smart meter then there are more options for you and more flexibility in what sort of rates or rates that will be more suitable for your usage? Probably not directly because of smart metering. Uh, okay. you, these rates have always been available, even if the old analogue metres, um, you can have, you might have two or three metres on, on your switchboard with a uh, appropriate wee relay that will turn the power on according to what the load shedding or the, the availability is going to be on that rate that you have. So you might have one rate for your like your range and, and your, your yeah, number got, of appliances in the home all the time, but the, your water heating could be controlled. You might I've have got, under I've four got heating. Three, I've got three metres, and I think I've got to pay three different line fees, one for each of them, which seems crazy. You would. Yeah, your line fee would, would be part of, the, of your total usage for, for them. You should be all part of the same sort of uh, rate for that. But it could vary depending on, on the, the particular lines company and the retailer that would be there. But the smart metering, you know, it's um, something that I think probably for the, the people in the homes, you've got a meter box put out of the house. People come around and, and replace these. It's something new, it's something different, it's new technology. Little information is, is made available to the homeowner. They don't understand it. And when you don't understand things, you start hearing different stories. You don't yeah. know what to believe. Yeah. And, and the word paranoia has been used. But it's mis, misinformation or lack of information. Ignorance, uh, love, of ignorance loves a vacuum, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it doesn't help. I, the ones involved in the area that, that I live in, yes, they have we, we, like cell phone modems in there with, with an, we aerial on them. Some of the aerials are sort of like the thickness of your thumb and the length of your long finger that is part of an aerial that will communicate just, just like a cell phone. And as some said, it's just short bursts of energy, just like uh, sending a text message from a cell phone. Yeah. Uh, but they have the advantage that the retailers can, if you don't pay your power bill and they're ready to disconnect you, they can do it remotely and turn your power off and turn it on without anyone going to the property. No is, it, is, it, is, it an, is it an advantage or a disadvantage that they can turn your power off? So I suppose it means you've got to pay your bills? Yeah, yeah, yeah well, it, it, it'll happen in, in every region, I would say, that uh, you know the energy retailer power is being used by someone and they're not paying for it. So if you look at it in the eyes of the law, basically it's almost okay. like they're not paying the bills and they're stealing power in a sense if, if it's not controlled. Yeah. So do, do, Ian, do you work for the power companies? I do work for a power company, yeah. Yeah, OK, thanks, Ian. Ron, good evening, it's Marcus. Yes, hello. Yes, there was a gentleman a while ago saying there was no uh, uh, fixed daily charges. Well, I'm in South Canterbury and we do have a... Uh, for 29 uh, days, it was $46.32, and we used $57.96 of power. So, and the, the, the meter, I couldn't read it. You would need a, a, it's pulsating and gives, it 
I only see the the numbers there for uh, a few seconds. You'd have to have a camera to t- take a photo of it. Is this your smart yeah. media talking about, Ron? Yeah, that's right, yes. Okay. And you, you, uh, when we got it, I tried to read it and I discovered that I couldn't write the numbers down quick enough. Okay. So I, if I'd went and got the camera and taken a, a photo of it yeah. each time it changed, well, I'd have been right then, but I didn't, didn't bother doing that. Ron, has it been yeah. a good experience for you, the smart meter? Well, it's probably just the same as the other. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you get the bill once a month. Has your bill gone up? <laughs> and you pay it. Well, I don't know. We're in a new house, so I don't know what it would have been beforehand. It's um, we're not using as much as the, we did in the old house. Uh, not not as much power, but the the rate per kilowatt hour is the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but but it seems that they pick up more things because appliances are left on. It seems to be more precise with its actually metering, which probably would be a disadvantage to getting connected. Um, about the uh, power companies, um, I think solar energy has really done a bad job in promoting itself. I mean, um, I look at those skyscrapers in Auckland and I think, well, couldn't they have solar panels on them and sell those buildings being self-sufficient in energy, running computer costs with 400 storeys high if you want to go that high? Yeah, well, I think, I think, I think, I think all the um, all the information is that is that solar is going to become increasingly available. I mean, there's solar powered roads now. I mean, sol- com- solar combined with uh, combined with the um, Tesla battery. Uh, you, you know, I mean, we might be free of the power companies before too long. Before I need to have my smart meter. And people, how much your power has gone up since you've got the smart meter? It seems as though normally it does go up. It never comes down. FYI, we have refused to have a smart meter installed due to high levels of electromagnetic radiation from them. No long-term research on the impact of this EMR. There we go. So I think you can refuse, but not for too long. They might actually say you've got to actually have them eventually. And what does Consumer Magazine say? Um, New Zealand is a golden opportunity to give consumers more control over their power use and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In our view, the, va- the failure to regulate the rollout of smart meters was a mistake. Power retailers need to be clear and accountable on how they handle and protect the personal data collected by smart meters. Companies' privacy policies should include information on how they use smart meter data. Yeah, they'll be selling it all over the show, one would think. Hey, g'day, Marcus. Marcus. Hi, Brian. Oh, g'day. I'd like to talk about the, um, the smart meters. I um, got one imposed on me two years ago in a battle with um, Mercury Energy. What 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 area do you live in, Brian? Uh, Avondale, in Auckland. Oh, okay. Two and one they, two. Um, and they just imposed this thing without even me knowing it. Then they sent me the letter three days later saying we're going to come around and do the air, and you got three days to uh, say no. I came home and they'd already put the thing in. So you should have said no, okay, you didn't answer your mail, is that right? No, I got, I got the mail. The night I got the mail, I phoned it that morning at 8 o'clock immediately within 72 hours, which I had okay. the chance to, and they'd done it be, before I'd even got my letter in the mail. So and long so story I, sh- sh- short, Brian, was it the best thing that ever happened to you? Absolutely not, and I'm telling you, that thing's in your bedroom. I've done a lot of reading on these meters. Most of the people come on and um, with it, working for the companies, do their little seminars. They've been told all this jazz without any research, and they just spout off reading text, you know, word for word. But they're none the more wiser than anyone else out there. But if it's in your bedroom, do not put a smart meter in there, I tell you. But I went to the Gas and Electricity Commission to lay a complaint against Mercury. Where's your, where's your meter, Brian? What happened to you? Right, right, right at the back door. I came home and this thing was uh, just imposed. It was just put in there. And have you, has, it, has it given you radiation poisoning? Well, um, not that I'm... Uh, I couldn't tell you that. I don't know how, what radiation... I don't have a Geiger counter here to... Uh, be, before and after the fact. Before there's no radiation or the after effect, what it's giving off now, I don't know. You should get a Geiger counter, Brian. <laughs> I wrote to the Gas and Electricity Commission to lay the complaint, and they, they were absolutely not fit for purpose. That was absolutely hopeless. But, but I'll, I'll tell you one thing. 
a man, a friend of mine phoned up, and this is fact, there was a guy in the Bay of Plenty, a farmer who had one of these things imposed on him without his freely expressed consent, like lawfully. He took them to court and he won, and they put his old analog meter back into the, the farmhouse. So if you I should. Do- the mean, if I had the means to go to court, I would take it and t- take mer- mercury energy. They were absolute bloody mongrels to deal with, mercury energy. But this is progress. You've got a smart meter. You should be cock a hoop. Uh, this is progress, yeah. There's some benefits, mate, to living in a cave, I reckon. But of course you'll go online, you'll find conspiracies for everything and reason these things are dangerous. I mean, you'll be able to well, find data both ways, won't you? I, I, always. I mean, the word conspiracy comes from Latin, meaning to breeze together. The corporations all breeze together against the people. I they, mean, wouldn't put just... some, they wouldn't put something deliberately dangerous in your house, though. I, I believe they, they. I believe it's all for just um, corporate profit. They, they wouldn't be bothered. They find some scientist somewhere who is going to come out with the the answer and the benefits that they want to sell to the the people out there. Okay. Uh, do you believe that it just uh, broadcasts or just con- 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 converses with head office two minutes a day? I don't, I don't believe what the power companies uh, tell you. They're, I tell you that just. Uh, uh, the, the truth, I find, is, is the casualty every time. They, these mongrels are following corporate charters for corporate profit. People are never factored into the... I think we're getting a bit broad now, Brian, but thanks so much for that. 23 past 10, 0800 80, 10, 80. We're doing so well for a while. Hi, Val, it's Marcus. Yes, Marcus, I'm just ringing up about the smart meter. Yep, yeah, good on you, Val. Yes, um, there is a DVD out that says Take Back Your Power yeah. and it's um, very interesting and anybody can get it from a library or you can, uh, I can't remember the place up north you get it from, you can post um, get it posted to you. It's well worth looking at. In America, they're putting smart, put smart meters in the houses and a lot of the houses have gone on fire. There's so many uh, fire brigades in America will not go out to fires now because of the smart meters. The, the companies have had to go in and take the smart meters out and give people back their other meters. Um, there's people... this, is the, this, this is what it says in the documentary, of course. I mean, it would be something else, Val, to whether prove that's true or not. Well, Marcus, I've been ill for 30 years from chemicals and I've been poisoned twice by chemicals, once by X-ray ones and once by a helicopter killing gorse. I lost every hair in my head and um, i followed this for 30 years so I know a lot of what's going on around the world and it would raise the hair in your head if you knew all the things I've found out. Do they come to you for a smart meter valve to give it to you? Oh, yes, yes. And what would... you say, on your bike? On, on their bike, yeah. I nearly gave them a good push with it. But, did, you hear, um, did, you hear, did your hair grow back? Yes, it did, actually. It grew okay. very well. I wore a wig for a year, yeah. and, and hardly anybody knew that I was wearing a wig, but I am very used to what's going on in this world with chemicals and radiation. Okay. So yes. no smart meters for you. They're a bad thing. Absolutely. Wouldn't have them in the town. Who's behind? Well, you probably have. They are in oh, your town. I know. I know we have, but we're trying to keep them away from our neighbourhood. And we've had a lot of meetings in our town. And apparently we're one of the the, um, the biggest uh, areas for keeping smart meters out. Okay. So is like the whole town going to be opposed? What town are you in? Omaru. So the whole town's going to be opposed to it? No, there's a lot that are. And I know a lot of people that have um, been in and out of hospital and doctors can't find out what's wrong with them. You take the smart meters out of the house and they come back to normal. Yes, but they're, 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 that, that also might be the effect that they know that, that they know it's there. That's what the they guy didn't from know the... it was there. They didn't know they were, and they were put up outside the, the bedrooms in some of these little cottages. And um, no, there's people have been put in, and they were going sort of mental or losing, um, getting well, Alzheimer's. We all, we all go mental from time to time, Val. It's not the smart meters. That's just life, isn't it? My God, it's getting worse. <laughs> 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 yes, but um, no, I would not touch a smart meter. Okay, well you call it like you call it like it is, Val. Absolutely. Yeah, I like yep. talking to you. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks so much. Bye, bye, Val. Oh eight hundred eighty ten eighty. Yes, yeah, so it seems there's people all across the spectrum, but um, isn't it funny? But no one's come and said the radiation's made them feel fantastic, like they feel euphoric since they've had the smart. Why is that? Uh, when, when things interfere, they always make you feel worse, not better. Don't know the answer. Just putting that out.